You're 18, sir. So, I can't tell you how many times I've been down these streets here in Shella and passed by the Jaha guest house here and not known the significance that it has to the story of Omar Lali and Tekra Muigai. The Jaha guest house is the last place that they spent time together before the entire furious storm of coverage around their love story began. Omar and Tekra must have walked through these doors that evening and gone up to a floor above here, which is, you know, about two floors up before she had her accident some would say might have been pushed or hit and then after that she would pass away she came in on her own two feet but left carried by Omar and some of his relatives and days later what took place took place this ladies and gentlemen is the last door that she walked through what do you believe happened that night what I feel happened that night I think that I told the guy I'm, I'm done with you. I will not take care of your life anymore. And the guy just decided to fight her. Did you kill Tekra, my guy? And so it was settled. Omar would marry Tekra, and Tekra's family would have to accept their will. Smooth sailing from then henceforth? Not quite. Unsettling allegations about their relationship would soon emerge. He knelt down and started saying to her, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> need a break, but I need a break. Yeah. Months later, Tekra Mwigai would sustain a fatal injury at the bottom of a flight of stairs. Did you kill Tekra Mwigai? No. I would never put a finger on her. No. Because I've never had a problem with her. She was my happiness. I was her happiness. And uh, that picture even I found out about it later when Tekra had died, that's when I was going through the picture. I'm like, look at this picture. This guy had actually looked at her like an animal. We need to relook at the whole setup again, the whole scene again. We need to reconstruct the scene so that we can be able to determine exactly what happened. You know, if you don't know what happened, you cannot come and say somebody's concealing the evidence. So both sides of the divide turned to the only person who could give them answers, Tekra. Two autopsies, conducted six days apart, would deepen even further confusion about what really killed Tekra Mwegai. The first indicated that Tekra died from a severe injury to her brain, but wasn't definitive about what caused it. The second, performed by Chief Government Pathologist Dr. Johansson Oduor, lent itself to the suspicions that the Karanjas had all along. Where Tekra was hit, according to the doctor, he gave us even the kilos. But even a plane crash cannot crash that bone. And if you feel, I don't know in which floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, you can't crash that bone. So you'd wonder, why would a human being hit another human being like that? And for what? 